the collar. Spotted something. Wolgrave spotted something. I'd trade my gauntlets for a hot drink. Here. Potent heat! Wolgrave spotted something. Warm as dragon's breath! Wolgrave spotted something. I'm overheating here! I'd trade my gauntlets for a hot drink. <laughs> Feeling hot under the collar. Feeling hot under the collar. Wolgrave spotted something. Wolgrave spotted something. Wolgrave spotted something. Oh, I could do with a cold drink. Wolgrave spotted something. 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 Spotted something. Wolgrave spotted something. Wolgrave spotted something. Wolgrave spotted something.
Walgrave spotted something. Walgrave spotted something. under the collar. Bitter chill. Baking like a cake. Toasty. Warm as dragon's breath. There's not an imp in sight. Patience. One could turn. You there. Where are the red imps hiding? Don't play stupid. We know the cowards jumped to this realm. Easy, sister, easy. We wouldn't want to scare off a possible ally. We of the Watch share little with those ruddy chattel, but we do serve a common master. The demons of the realm of Nemesis. We've been tasked with returning the savage renegades to their home plane. I know not what guise of innocence they have undertaken here, but in our home realm theirs is a sinister past. Eons ago the Red Imps were a free race. Clever, yes, but blinded by their thirst for knowledge. Easier prey our demon masters could not have crafted. And so the imps were offered a deal, knowledge for service. The demons would offer the imps unlimited knowledge of the universe, and in turn the imps would work off this debt by the sweat of their brows. The imps, salivating at such an idea as absolute knowledge, agreed without a second thought, and each signed his name into a great codex marking his commitment. Knowledge they were granted, yes but at a great cost. They could only use their newfound abilities in service of the demons of Nemesis. No? Wait until you are all that stands between an imp and its freedom. See how quickly impish charm turns to barbarism. We, the Watch, were made the overseers of the demon's impish slaves. We were kinder than the demons indeed, but suffered from the same servitude as those over whom we were given dominion. Whatever commands the demons issued, we had no choice but to enforce. After a great many centuries, the imps crafted a plan. They would steal the codex by which they had signed over their lives and flee Nemesis forever. But to get to the codex, they had to go through us. The imps were merciless. 
countless innocents among the watch were beaten, bloodied, ripped apart limb by limb as a savage red swarm ran through us. Steal the codex they did, leaving the shredded innards of those who opposed them in their wake. And what of us? We of the watch who had failed in protecting the codex were shown no mercy by our overlords. Half were sent to the darkest dungeon cells of Nemesis where they would suffer eternal torment. The other half, well, we were given a task. Find the imps and all would be forgiven. Those cast into the dungeons would be released. Fail and we will be doomed to join them. So, do you remember where those bloodstains are holing up? We of the Watch share little with the- I know not what got eons ago the red and so the knowledge- No, we after the imp- And what the other- Warm as dragon's breath! a long, narrow vent. A corpse may have fit through its bars, but a living body would find it quite unpleasant. Someone leave an oven door open. Mm, now I missed my nose. Must smell like delicious spit roast round here. Ah, I'm, I'm tripping. Bloody floods! We can't pass through here! Blast! And me without my swimming trunks. I feel like I'm 
just had a long bath in a cold lake. He can slip six warm bodies past Rumble for the price of one, he does. Lousy bomb, me as well, thieve from King Gungir's very coffers. If I've said it once, I've said it more times than a troll can count. Warm bodies do not people make. We are free immaculates and free slaves, and I won't empty my pocket over chattel. as though we can't spare the gold. We ought to end this conflict before it escalates. Why don't we just pay the silly toll? It'll be our good... No, we'll do as I say. Enough. I'll not let this idiot troll or his idiot king hinder the goddess's affairs a moment longer. In her name, I bid thee fight. If I've not got any gold in my pouch, You'll not get any head on your shoulders. Rules are rules, chicken bones. If no one pays, everyone dies. Play the blubber from this fool. I think I'll make a candle to his second chin. Play the blubber from this fool. I think I'll make a candle from his second chin. <laughs>
Hem who shares her feed receives a greater second helping.
Yes. Ah! Ah! 